listen. Back when Gravity Falls was first released in my country and I saw the TV ads, I thought it looked stupid, so I decided then and there that I would never watch this show. Until I did. And when I tell you that it absolutely consumed my brain for like half a decade, I mean it. Anyways, the characters are iconic, but let's be honest, they are more interesting clothes than a red shirt and a blue jacket. Dipper. And while that's very much how a 12 year old might dress, I'd love to see how these characters would look a couple years after the events of the show. So I'll be redesigning Dipper, Mabel and Bill. Yes, he will also be human, sorry not sorry. For a hypothetical continuation of the show, I'll also be sharing the story that I've come up with since it's kind of very much related to the outfits. Compare this amazing likeness to Dipper. That doesn't look anything You're like right, you. You're right, it does look exactly like you! Basically, Dipper and Mabel are around 20 years old and now go to college. I'll apologize right here because I'm indeed not from America and I have no clue how your education system works, so bear with me. Dipper and Mabel are both still kind of traumatized by what happened in the finale of the show. You know, with Bill turning the world upside down and capturing their friends and family, etc, etc. But instead of dealing with it, they pushed it to the backs of their minds. So both of the twins decided they wanted to get away from the Weird Mageddon events. They did still visit Gravity Falls often because they do think of it fondly, but once college started, they felt too busy. Which is of course just an excuse. Dipper is paranoid and anxious and he keeps having nightmares, which make it really hard for him to stay asleep. And on that note, I want to mention that I was very worried about the first haircut I gave him because he just straight up looked like Will Graham from Hannibal, which is why I ended up going with more of an undercut for him. The resemblance probably would have been even worse with the glasses I added later on, so... Made the right choice, going with a different haircut, I guess. Dipper definitely got bullied in high school because him and Mabel were the weird kids, always talking about things that happened in Gravity Falls, which nobody ever believes them, of course. After all, who in their right mind thinks that a triangle guy could cause the apocalypse, right? I mean, he's just a silly little guy, like, look at him. I've got some children I need to make into corpses! Mabel was the weird kid who was nice to everyone, and Dipper was the weird kid who's quiet, so naturally that made him the main picking target. Due to this, he has low self-esteem to this day. My idea was that he essentially tries to overcompensate by dressing less like the weird kid for a fresh start in college. But he has no fashion sense, so what he did was literally going on Pinterest, looking for dark academia outfits and just copying those. I ended up giving him a button-up shirt instead of going with a coat or a vest, because those just look too preppy and I don't feel like they would fit Dipper well. Like maybe he wore those kind of close in the beginning, but what he eventually stopped going that hard. Once he did his Dark Academia cosplay for a while, he realized he preferred more practical clothes over looks, so while the color scheme is still kind of Dark Academia, the clothes aren't really anymore. For example, I gave him cargo pants with a bunch of zippers and pockets because he would think they're super practical, of course. I didn't want him to keep wearing the pine tree hat he has in the show, even though it's very iconic, so I decided that Mabel cut out the pine tree for him and actually sewed it onto his pants like a patch. This way he could still keep it in his outfit without it looking silly. Of course, I also had to give him one of those leather college bags that everyone seems to love for some reason. Personally, I hate carrying shit on one shoulder, especially if the bag is very heavy. I bet he stuffs it full of books too. Sorry for his poor shoulder. He has a couple of pens and badges on his bag. And you may recognize the famous band which Dipper still loves listening to, Baba. For the close-up drawing, I decided to give him a slightly different outfit where he's wearing a sweater that's 100% made by Mabel over his shirt. I just think it's cute and shows his personality. He's looking off to the side like he just heard something and is freaking out about it. Typical Dipper move. I think despite wanting to get away from everything that happened in Gravity Falls, Dipper would still be too curious for his own good and want to learn more about the supernatural, which is why he always had a flashlight with him. And also because of the paranoia, I guess. He probably kind of wishes he was still in Gravity Falls being Ford's apprentice rather than being stuck in college. But what can you do? And little does he know that being in college didn't really help him get away from paranormal things. As you will hear about, 
a bit later. For the colors, I had a neat idea to go with a CMYK color scheme. So Dipper would be cyan, Mabel would be magenta and Bill would of course be yellow, which does line up with the colors they already had in the show pretty well too. I think because of the dark academia face Dipper had, he wouldn't dress in too many colors, so he ended up with a mostly dark grey outfit, with some parts being a darkish cyan color, as well as a bit of brown for his hair and the bag, some gold metal and pink for the badges. The buy badge was totally made by Mabel by the way. Though Dipper has it on the back side of his bag because he feels a bit shy about it. With the shading, I also added the dark bags under his eyes because being paranoid and anxious just can't be good on your sleep. I definitely really like how Dipper's design came out, like even more than I expected it to because boy, after doing a bunch of super detailed designs like my VTuber model design, I felt like this one just wasn't enough. But now I'm actually happy about it. I love the expression I gave him for the close up too. Mabel, do you believe in ghosts? I believe you're a big dork! <laughs> with Mabel, I already started off with a more confident pose, since unlike Dipper, she'd actually be confident in herself and proud of the clothes she wears, since a lot of them would be made or at least customized by her. I'm not sure what her college major would be, but she'd definitely dabble in all the subjects that are creative. Like, all of them. Art, music, writing, theater, you name it, she does it. Mabel also wasn't left unscathed by the events of the show, and she keeps busy to never have to think about what happened back then. Besides all of the subjects she already puts a lot of work into, she also runs a small business selling her self-made things like bracelets, customized clothing, and handmade bags. As for the design, I gave her shorter hair because I think that shows her bubbly personality better. I was also inspired by kind of Harajuku-esque fashion for her, but a lot more toned down to fit with the college vibe. She's wearing a crop top with some short overalls. I originally wanted to add a front pocket to the overalls, but decided against it because I wanted to draw some fun patterns on it later, and I didn't want it to be too crowded. She's also wearing some torn tights and sporty shoes for running after cute animals. Or running to class when she overslept. And then of course, I gave her a piggy bag, which she made herself because she really missed her pig waddles and couldn't bring him onto campus. This way she's always carrying him with her. In a way, I guess. I added on a bunch of bracelets, a choker, some badges, and a star hair clip reminiscent of her old shooting star sweater. Some of the bracelets could be from festivals too. She'd love going to concerts. I also gave her some earrings and debated about a nose piercing, but it didn't really look right to me, so I just left it. For the close-up, I went with a more fun pose that came out looking very cute, and just like Dipper, she's also wearing a sweater here. Color-wise, she was supposed to be the magenta of the CMYK scheme, but I wanted her overalls to be red as jeans at first, which is why they're mostly blue in the beginning. The idea was that Mabel thrifted them and then painted the pink parts on top to make them look more interesting. I also realized I accidentally gave her trans flag shoes for a moment, so take that as you will. This honestly set the theme of her whole outfit being multiple pride flags, as you will later see. To add a bit more pink, I gave her dyed streaks in her hair, which honestly totally fit her vibe, I love those for her. I can totally imagine her dyeing her hair different colors like every couple months too. Then I finally changed the overalls to be white and pink because there was just too much blue in the design up to that point. I added fun patterns to her overalls, cup and the sweater. The pride badges that she has were supposed to be the pan flag and the poly flag, but because the new poly flag is kind of detailed, I couldn't really fit it onto the pin. So instead I went with a golden heart with a white background. By the way, all of the badges on Dipper, Mabel and later on Bill were also made by her because... Honestly, what wouldn't Mabel make? Once I shaded her skin, I added her shoulder tattoo. Fun fact, I had the idea to give her a tattoo after I decided on the sweater hanging off of her arm. But I'm really glad I had this idea because Mabel would totally have gotten some cute tattoos once she was old enough. It of course incorporates the shooting star with a pan flag, waddles and the pine tree because she loves her brother dearly. 
So yeah, her color scheme literally ended up being the pan flag, the poly flag, and kind of the trans flag, which was unintentional, but it's also iconic as hell. Like, she would do that. She would. Alright, I bet with Bill you're gonna have a bunch of questions, so let's get into why he's human. Or rather, stuck in a human. After the whole weird Mageddon thing with him being erased out of existence, which seems kind of final, there was a little snippet in a book where the godly entity called the Axolotl gives Dipper some information about Bill. And regardless of what this might mean in canon, I'm using this as an excuse to bring Bill back because uh, he's my favorite character in the show. Brace yourselves because this is gonna be copium AF, but this is my video so I can do what I want. Bill basically found himself conscious years after the event, without any physical form, not even sure where the hell he's at. He attached himself to the first living thing that's in his vicinity, which happens to be another student at the college Dipper and May will go to. Bill is excited at first, but soon realizes he's stuck in this body and most of his powers are gone. He fumbles his way around human society and is found by one of the doormates of his body's owner, who brings him back to campus. Of course, he just wants to leave again because what's the point of going to a human college as an ancient, formerly powerful demon? But that's when he spots the twins and a plan starts to form in his mind. Bill starts pretending to be the owner of the body he attached himself to in order to get closer to the twins and eventually get them to help him leave this damn meat sack. Alright, let's talk about the outfit for a moment before I continue my rambling. If you've been in the Gravity Falls fandom online, you've definitely come across various renditions of human bills and most of them are dressed all dapper in suits and whatnot. I wanted to go with an alternative route for this one. Literally. This might be the fault of the music I was listening to when making these designs, but also I love edgy shit in general, so this bill is rocking a punk aesthetic. I searched for bastard core at first, thinking that this might give me what I was looking for, but um, it did not. <laughs> so yeah, punk it is. I did still want to incorporate the suit jacket at first, but I decided against it in the end because I didn't want him to check off more points on the Tumblr sexy men list. We have enough Tumblr sexy men bills, I want this build to have gremlin vibes. I gave him a bunch of belts, fishnet and plateau shoes with spikes. For the second pose I wanted to show off his insane side. The pose and especially the expression turned out awesome, he looks like such a gremlin bastard in this. Of course, he also has to wear a Mabel made sweater in this one, but his is cropped and torn to shreds. He says it was an accident, but I don't think anyone believes him. <laughs> okay, back to the story for a moment. Honestly, Bill might want to try the whole world domination party thing again at first, but the longer he's stuck in this human body, the more he just wants to find a way to become non-corporeal again. Which is also why I gave him the pose with him staring at this human head like, Ew, is this what my head looks like? Bill is chaotic neutral in this. He would still cause chaos for his own amusement, but ultimately his main goal is to not be trapped as a human. In a sense, it's close to gender dysphoria, with him feeling like he's not in the right body, making his whole struggle transcoded in a way. If you see Nimona, you probably know what I mean. And yes, Nimona was definitely an inspiration for this whole design. He also has some access to his magical powers, just because I think it would be fun for him to randomly start to float or mess with Dipper just to make him more paranoid. One thing he does enjoy about this human experience is the fact that the body's owner was a drama major and Bill loves performing on stage. And he's good at it. Which the other students and teachers find really weird because the former inhabitant of this body sucked at acting. I think that's just like a neat little detail. Yeah, there's a lot more lore I could share here, but I've been going on for a while, so I'll tell you the last couple thoughts I had on his outfit instead. First of all, the tear in the middle of his shirt on the right side looked triangular by accident, and I love that because it looked like his shirt is ripping open to reveal his actual triangular form, so I added an eye to it to make it even more clear. 
If you strolled up to Dipper and Mabel with this strip, they definitely would have figured out it's him right away. So the outfits I'm drawing are from when Mabel and Dipper already know it's him. Also, the longer Bill stays in the body, the more it changes, like the yellow eyes with his little pupils, the sharp teeth and the claws, for example. The blonde parts of his hair are just died though. With Bill, I struggled so much trying to get the colors to work together. For both Dipper and Mabel, picking the colors was super effortless, but for Bill, I do not know why, but it was hard. At some point, the torn sweater on the left was yellow with a black and white striped shirt underneath, which was supposed to have prisoner vibes, but instead it just gave Ronald McDonald. So I changed it. I put a bunch of eyes on the shirt to add in some blue for the CMYK color scheme, and eventually tried to put red into the outfit as well, which is when it finally started looking coherent. But also, like Bill, doesn't really know what he's doing. The whole reason Bill started wearing these punk aesthetic uh, clothes is literally because the previous owner of the body already owned most of these, so Bill picked out the ones in the colors he liked the most. Yellow for obvious reasons, blue like his flame, and red for the blood of his enemies, I guess. At the end, I did give him an arrow ace pin because he hates being in a human body and there ain't no way he's interested in other human bodies. Also, his entire color scheme is basically the arrow ace flag as well. And yes, Bill, I did have to turn you into a human. <laughs> Here's all of the designs together. The CMYK color scheme was a great idea. I think all three of them look like a coherent group together. I'm also curious to hear your thoughts about the lore I came up with for these three. If you like my art and or redesign content, consider subscribing for more. I'm planning to release another redesign video and then maybe some other art content after this. If there's anything specific you guys would like to see, let me know. So that's it for the first video on this channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Will out.